Welcome to this class that is all about forward folds and learning to be able to touch your toes. If you repeat this class three times a week, you'll see a big improvement in your flexibility and you'll be touching your toes before you know it. Some equipment that we'll need, a set of weights, anything probably between 10 to 20 pounds, and then some blocks or something you can elevate yourself with. We'll start by coming to the back of the mat, weight on your left foot, Put your right foot forward with your toes to the ceiling and then you'll just shave down your legs, sending your hips back and standing up straight. So shave down and up. Your hands just are sliding on your leg down as far as you can. It's really important that you send your hips back and keep your spine straight as you go down and back up. You wanna keep your leg as long and as straight as possible and create the crease coming from your hips rather than rounding through the spine. The back does not change position. Awesome, switch sides, take your left foot forward and same thing. Shave down the leg as your hips go back, your spine stays long and stand back up. Hips back. The leg you're standing on can bend, but the one that's in front, keep it as straight as you possibly can. Only go down as far as you can keep your back long. If you're rounding through your back, don't go down quite so far. It's really important when we're doing forward folds to learn how to create the crease from the hip. All right, we'll make this walk now. So right foot forward, reach down, try to brush the hands against the floor, then step on the right foot, send the left foot forward. Very similar to what we just did, except we're switching sides each time. We're adding a little walk. And then when we get to the end of the mat, turn around and go the other way. Your back stays long, you still Fold at your hips and keep the spine long and try to just brush those fingers against the floor before you stand up. Brush, step, brush, step. Folding at the hips. You get to the end, turn around, go the other way. Same thing, brush, stand up and step to do the other side. Awesome. One more time, we go down and make our way to the front of our mats. Creasing those hips. And then shake your legs out. We're focusing a lot on the hamstrings today, so they might be sore tomorrow, but that means you've worked where you need to work. Stand tall with nice alignment. Interlace your hands behind your head. Open the elbows wide. And then we'll fold the hips back to come down to a 90 degree angle and lift back up. So we're folding at the hips so that we can take our body just 90 degrees parallel to the floor and then lift back up. The back is staying flat and straight the entire time. Your legs are working to maintain that long line. So we're trying not to bend the knees here. And as we go back, the weight shifts back and we lift up. So again, we're focusing on the hamstrings and the glutes. Folding down, 90 degrees, lifting up. And then release your hands. Stand nice and tall. Again, place your hands at your waist and fold down so you're in that 90 degree angle. Tailbone is pointed one way, head is the other. Arms reach out to the sides in a T. Hold it there. Hugging in the belly, lengthening the spine stretching through the back of your legs. Then bend your knees around your spine, curl in and stretch back out to that 90 degree angle. Curl in and stretch out. Exhale, curl. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, round, bend the knees, bend the back and then stretch everything straight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So we're moving between this rounded position with the tailbone down and then the tailbone shifts back out behind us. Exhale. Inhale. And then try to lift yourself up with a flat back all the way up to standing. Shake your legs out again. We are definitely working the back chain of the body. You should really start to feel that. Feet back to parallel position. Take your right foot forward, and then you'll put all your weight on your right foot. Your left foot goes behind just so it's lifted and on the toes of your back foot. 
And then we'll crease at the hips, keeping the spine long, and try to touch the fingers to the floor and lift back up. So it's like a deadlift. Folding at the waist to tap the hands to the floor, stand back up. Hips back, chest stays lifted. It's like you're trying to reach your back of your knee behind you on your standing leg. Crease and then stand up. Perfect. Switch sides. Your left leg becomes your standing leg. Your right foot comes to the toes just for some extra balance. And then we do the deadlift or the drinking bird is also another name for this exercise. Folding down and lifting up. Long, straight spine. Work to keep your standing leg tall. So you want to lift up through your kneecaps to try to lengthen the leg and make it be as straight as possible. Step together, give your legs a little shake. All right, let's take our weights. Bend your knees, carefully pick up your weights. Feet parallel, weights come forward and the same thing we just did but with both legs this time. So we're standing on both legs. We're gonna hinge at the hips to come down and then stand back up. As you hinge, again, think about the knees trying to extend back behind you and then stand up. So we're really focusing on the length of the legs as we go down and lift up. You can see that the spine continues to maintain that long line all the way down and all the way up. It does not change. The change goes because my hips are turning back, causing me to crease right at the center of the body. Keep the legs long as you go down to your deadlift and back up. The heavier weights, the more this is gonna work your muscles. The lighter weights, the less it's going to work. If you don't wanna use any weights at all, you could also just do this with your own body weight. We want to maintain the correct positioning. A little bit different than if we just did it for like strength where we would bend our knees. We're working on flexibility, so we're keeping those legs straight. Put your weights down, give yourself a little bit of a breather, let your legs shake and release out. Come back to your parallel position, inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, touch your palms. Exhale, dive forward all the way down to your forward fold, letting your head release at the bottom. Inhale, lift your head and chest, look forward, and then step to plank, shift your weight forward, exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, look to the ceiling, up dog. Exhale, hips go up and back to down dog. Take a quick breath and then start to walk out your feet, stretching one leg straight and the other leg bent. Really reaching the heel of the straight leg down to the floor. Walking out your down dog. One more switch and then lengthen the heels to the floor. Keep your right leg on the floor, bend your left leg, lift it up, keeping the leg bent and open your hips so you're in a three-legged dog. Try to stretch that bottom leg as straight as you can get it. Switch, take the top leg down and then bend the other leg. When you get up, open your hip so that your knee tries to point to the ceiling and try to stretch your bottom leg as straight as possible. That'll open the whole back chain of your leg. And then come back down, find your down dog again. Press your chest back, try to lengthen the legs, creating a nice V shape with your body. It's an upside down V. Look forward, come to your tippy toes and walk your feet up to your hands, seeing if you could keep your legs as straight as possible. Fingertips to the floor. Then we're gonna bend, curl in, try to put the belly on the thighs and then stretch the tailbone up to the ceiling, try to arch the back. Exhale, round, curl everything in. Inhale, stretch, try to lift the head and arch the spine looking up. So it's almost like a cat and cow. Bend the knees, curl into yourself. Then exhale, tailbone to the ceiling, reach the head up. Curl in on yourself and then slowly roll up through your spine until you're at a standing position. Open the shoulders, find your alignment and your posture. 
Shake your legs out one more time. And then go ahead and just rub the back of your leg on your hamstring with your hand and just rub that out. Do the other side. Helps to release out those muscles and also to get the lactic acid out of your muscles. So give it a nice, good rub. Next exercise, come on, face me, toes forward, parallel position. Interlace your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Crease at the hips and you'll just fold to 90 degrees and lift back up. So you're just trying to fold to your flat back, not all the way down, and lift up. Once again, find the shift of your tailbone. Lift up one more time, folding down and up. This time we'll fold down, find that 90 degree angle, then take your right hand, reach it to your left toes, your other arm extends overhead, and then come back, hands behind the head. Switch the other side, left hand to right toes. So we're doing a little bit of a twist to reach, but trying to keep the legs straight, and then left to right, back to center. Right hand to left toes, reach. Back to center, left hand to right toes, open and back to center. Lift up through your flat back to a standing position. Release your hands down. Hands onto the waist. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, fold from your waist all the way down. Plant your hands on the floor, let your head release. Inhale, stretch your spine, lift your head, look up. Then exhale, try to slide your body in between your legs sending the tailbone to the ceiling. The crown of your head points to the floor. Try to hug the elbows in and keep shifting the weight forward onto the balls of your feet to help give you an additional lengthening on the back side of your legs. Big breaths. Next, inhale, walk your hands forward. Place them on your waist and stand all the way back up. Step your feet together. Shake out those legs. Very nice work. Now to a tree pose. We will start by stepping on the left leg, lifting up and out of it. Your right leg opens and you just put the ball of your foot on the floor and your hands at your heart. When you feel ready, you can lift to take the foot inside onto the shin or all the way up into the inner thigh. We want to squeeze the legs towards the midline to help with balance, closing the rib cage, focusing on a certain spot with the eyes, and balancing, holding it there for about 30 seconds. Relax the shoulders down away from your ears. Stand tall. Continue to press into the midline so your legs are squeezing towards each other. Release, step down, shake out your standing leg, and we'll do the other side. So step onto your right leg, left leg opens just to the ball of your foot, gauge your center, hands to heart. When you're ready, whatever you did on side one, do it on side two for the tree pose. Squeezing the legs to the midline, finding the gaze, and finding your balance. Standing tall. It's about 30 seconds. We're almost there. All right, step down and shake your legs. Okay, turning Back to the front of the mat, feet parallel, hip distance apart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, touch the palms. Exhale, fold from the waist to dive forward into your forward fold. Inhale, lift to a flat back. Exhale, step to plank and lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, push back to down dog. Take a breath. Try to lengthen your legs, press your chest back towards your legs, tuck your chin into the chest. Drop the heels, 
Look forward. Start to walk your feet forward to your hands. When you get on your feet, fold forward. And then reverse swan dive to stand. Palms touch overhead. And exhale, hands to your sides. We need our blocks, both of them. So you'll grab those and then place them on the highest level, about hip distance apart, right under your shoulders. Your hands go on there. You lengthen your spine to a flat back. Reach your right foot back so you're just on your toes. And then you lift and lower. Every time you lift, try to get it a little higher. As you lift, your hip has to open up. So as you get higher, that hip will start to open. Keep your spine long as you do this and try to maintain the length in both the legs. This time we'll lift and we'll hold it up as high as you can. Hold it there, up. Try to keep reaching it up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Try to separate the legs and then lower it down. Switch sides, step on your right leg, left leg back. Same thing, long spine, lift and lower, lift and lower reach it up strong straight legs up and down and this time we hold it as high as we can hold it up there reaching the legs separating them apart and lower down very very nice just start to sway your hips side to side to release out over to the right, you can bend one leg and then over to the left. Come back to center, plant your feet firmly, stretch the legs and then cat and cow. Inhale, arch your spine, exhale, round and curl. Your head dives down and up to find that cow position and then you release and fold to curl and round to your cat. Inhale, head goes down and up to arch. Exhale, fold and round the spine to curl. The legs stay straight the whole time. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. And then lengthen the spine back to that tabletop position. Hands to your waist and flat back to stand up. Very nice job. Stretch out your legs. Okay, we're going to move the blocks down so that they're flat. I started like this and I was like, no, what am I doing? <laughs> you put the blocks next to each other, side by side. There we go. That's how we want them. And we'll do some forward folds that are elevated. So we'll step onto our blocks. And then same thing we've been doing all class, folding at the waist, long spine to fold down. You're going to try to reach your fingertips to touch the floor. If they don't touch the floor, that's fine. You're just reaching them like they would touch the floor and your back is long, tailbone to the ceiling. Long, long, long spine. Then you'll try to maintain that fold at the hips and increase it by pulling your belly towards your thighs and releasing your head and neck, letting your arms just hang down. Weight is forward to the balls of the feet. Relax your head and neck. We'll hold it there for about 30 seconds. Stretch the knees by engaging your quads and lifting from the front of the body. Lift your head, looking up to find that long spine again. Hands to your waist. Flat back, stand up. Slowly step off of your blocks. We will do this exact same stretch again, but we'll add a weight. So we just want one weight. We'll put it in between our hands, holding one side with each hand, stepping back on the blocks. And then we'll forward fold, creasing at the hips, sending the tailbone back first, lengthening the spine nice and long. Keep the spine lengthened in that flat back and hold it there. Stretching the legs as straight as you can. Again, if your weights don't go to the floor, that's all right. Then fold in, letting your back relax, pulling your belly towards your thighs, letting the head release. Really trying to let that weight pull you more forward. Stretching the legs, engage your quads. 
Again, about a 30 second hold here. Lift your head, take the weight with you, stand up with a flat back, and slowly step off of your blocks. Place the weight down. You can repeat that same exercise, or if you want to go deeper, stack your blocks. Be really careful when you step on them. And we'll take the weight again. Do the exact same thing, either on the same level you just did or a level up. On the blocks, fold from the waist, come forward. Keeping the spine long and lengthened to start. It's about 10 seconds with that long spine. Stretching, straight line from head to tail, and then relax the head and neck. Trying to pull your belly closer to the thighs. Let the weight help your body fold down. Stretch the legs as straight as you can get them. Lift the head. We are not going to try to stand up from here. Bend your knees and step off the blocks just to be safe on those double blocks. And then bend one leg at a time, just releasing out. You can move the blocks off the mat because we will no longer need those. And then you can also move your weight off. We will do one more forward fold, seeing how much better we did than at the beginning of class. Hands to the waist. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, fold forward from the waist. First two fingers wrap around your big toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, elbows open to the sides as you use your fingers to help pull your body towards your legs in a forward fold. Weight is on the balls of the feet. Tailbone is to the ceiling. We're engaging the front of the legs to try to fold. As you hold here on the exhale, see if you can get yourself to fold deeper and to lengthen the back of the legs a little bit more. Inhale, stretch your spine, remove your fingers, and then just let your head relax. Your hands may touch the floor, they may not. And then release out by bending one leg at a time. Bend both knees and slowly round up through your spine to a nice, tall, standing position with nice posture. And you have finished incredible work. If you feel soreness tomorrow in the hamstrings and the glutes, that's to be expected. A warm bath can help with that. And the more you work on this and do the class, the less you'll feel sore. So keep up the good work and stay flexy, my friends. Remember to subscribe for more videos and helping you to build your strength and flexibility.